very good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday. Thank you, Mrs. H. Very different. <laughs> Eucalyptus. I know them are in there. Right, are you straight, hopefully. There we go. Right, welcome to the shave midweek. Um, as I said in the last shave, uh, I've been tagged by John June. If you remember the chap um, that made me the JJ Shorty straight razor. A few weeks ago I used it. Uh, that's who he is. And um, he asked me a week or so ago, I think it was, uh, about this tag. And it's all about um, beginner shavers, new to wet shaving setups. What I'd advise uh, someone new to this. And it's right up my street, that, because I enjoy using a lot of basic stuff myself still to this day. Um, one I nearly forgot then to bring into to the room, but I have. Uh, so before I start, anybody watches me normally, hopefully you'll enjoy the shave. Um, or maybe if you're not, you know, this is, I don't know how long it'll go on for. Not for long, hopefully, not longer than normal. But... Um, Hope you enjoy it, yeah, it's it's, it's still a shave, but uh, it's going to be aimed really at someone who's typed into YouTube, wet shaving, because they've come from electric shavers or multi-blade cartridge shaves, and they want to try this way of shaving. And the first thing I'll say to confuse anybody is YouTube. And the people, what, what are you know? <laughs> because... You probably search wet shaving, you find a channel, you watch him, he'll say one thing, you watch somebody else, they'll say another thing. And by the time you've watched an hour or so, whatever, and you're like this thinking, what? You're in a worse state than you started. So watch this as if you've watched nobody else. You've watched no videos at all. Uh, clean slate. And I must emphasize, I am not an expert in shaving, I'm not a trained barber, I'm just a normal working, well normal is debatable, but just a working man who enjoys shaving and I've done it for many years now. So what I tell you in this video is from my own personal experience, not some I know it all sort of thing. So I hope that doesn't come across that way. <laughs> okay, first thing, razor. You can go down many routes with this. Um, you can buy on your budget, depends. I would highly recommend that razor. That is an Edwin Jagger DE89L lined handle. And I bought that hmm, way over 10 years ago, if not longer. Now, I don't use it every day and I don't use it every week, but I look after it and that's the condition of it. It cost about 20, I think they're about 30 pounds to buy. Um, and the reason I suggest this, it's a good quality one. It's a mid-standard aggression. It's three-piece and it's it's made of, in, made in Britain. It's got a beautiful chrome finish. Uh, the same chrome they use in Rolls-Royce, apparently. And it's a nice razor. Good hand-me-down, lasts you for years. And if you find this way is not for you, you can either sell it or hand it to someone as a gift or something. Uh, so that's that. That's the razor I'd highly recommend. Brush. Uh, one time I'd say Wilkinson Sword from the supermarket, about five pounds. Um, it's a bristle brush, ball brush. But I'm gonna use this again. I'd highly recommend a synthetic. Um, synthetic is man-made and it's easier to look after and they work so well on soaps, cropes and creams. Um, this one costs about eight pounds on Amazon. Frank shaving, as a plug for it. And uh, there's other companies, Yaki, uh, DS Cosmetic, um, made in China. But you know, to start off, you know, you don't know if you're going to enjoy this. In truth, you might do it a week or two weeks, and a lot of people give up because they find oh, it's hurt and it's cut to me. But uh, with patience, you've got to have patience. With this way of doing it and do it when you've got time don't do it when you're late for work and in a rush do it when you've got time trans transfer over i mean so that's a type of brush i'd uh, advise um blade now this is this is important i would before you start buy a multi-branded sample pack of blades which means you'll have you may have 10 packs of blades of different brands 
and there'll be difference in aggression. And the only way I can't tell you what blade will work for you, you'd have to try it in simple and honest terms. So that's that. We'll come to my blade in a minute. A simple cream I would suggest first. Don't worry about soaps and cropes, you can do that later. See if you enjoy it first. Palm Olive Classic. Um, and I'll show you, just put a sort of a thumbnail size. And you don't need a posh bowl. This is an old, which I use today, it's known as my bowl. Um, it's an old sort of dessert bowl from the kitchen years ago and it works well. You can use a mug. Um, the reason I say these things is because you make sure, if you enjoy this after, you know, it'll take time, a few days, few weeks, months, whatever, gradually get used to it. And if you enjoy it, then you can up your game, get a nice bowl, even better razor, brushes, whatever. But this is what I'd say as a standard. So I'm going to use a Wilkinson salt blade. And this one here is, this will be its uh, second use, number one on the dice. So second use. I find blades work probably up to three very good. You can get four or five shaves, but they start to sort of dull out then a bit. But um, each blade is different. But don't worry about that at the moment. Just worry about placing it in. There is slight overhang to be aware of, of the blade, and that's your razor ready. If you suffer from sensitive skin or soreness, and you think, oh, this is going to hurt or whatever, I would suggest, again, shaving oil. And I'll do it today in the shave to show you it does work, because my sensitive areas used to be here, I'm doing November at the moment, and here. Is this going on? Sorry, this is going to be a thing. So what you do is rinse your face first. Best time to shave is out the shower if you can, or after a wash, hot wash. If you're not doing any of that, just rinse in hot, warm water. I think the secret, if there is one, is to keep it simple. Don't fill your head with, oh, you can use this, that and the other. Simple. If you don't suffer, or you're not sure if you suffer from sensitive skin, maybe try it without this. But There are pre-shaved soaps, and, but don't worry about that. Oil. A few drops. And just apply it. You can apply it to the whole face if you want, but it's only sort of my neck area which gets a bit sore. I used to, it's much, much better now since I've been shaving this way. It takes your skin, and we're all different, it takes different people, different time for their skin to get used to this way of shaving. So you must have a bit of patience. It is worth it in the end. So that's added now a layer of oil there. That's it, so we just rinse the hands, we don't oil the hands. Okay. And then, um, wet this now under the tap. You could soak it, you don't need to with a synthetic. Give it a good wetting, good soaking. Flick it, one, two, three usually, or well, three flicks. You can always add water, but you can't take it out. So it's wet but not dripping. A bit more. I added water to the brush then. Much more again. There we go. What will start to happen is you'll see it start to create a cream around the edge. Gather it up. Like you're mixing a batter, really. A bit more water. So you're looking for a like a cream, double cream texture. And it's easy to do with a shaving cream, you see. Yeah, I apologise then if you're watching this, who watch me usually. As I say, I hope you enjoy it, but um, if you think, oh, I've seen all this before, maybe skip this video. 
I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> but many thanks. But I thought it was an important thing to do, if it helps anyone, because there was no videos like this when I started. Only Steve Fallica I found. Um, and then later on, people like uh, the big names, uh, Geo Fatboy of Mantic 59. I think Nick shaves as well, yeah. And that was about it then. Okay, so I've added oil there. Watch this. Now, granted, I'm not shaving this at the minute. But the reason I'm showing you is to prove that the oil, because only a bit you've added, a thin layer, doesn't hamper soap. Very easy cream, if you can get hold of it. Any sort of standard cream from your country. This just happens to be still available in the UK and the soaps, but uh, only online the soaps. Okay, there we go. So you've applied the first lather. Heat the head of the razor up in hot water. Heat the blade. Do something always done. So this is a bit of a how to shave and products to use at least if you're coming over. So it's not very expensive, but products that work and they're easily available here. Follow the growth of your beard. So it's down for me there, down, sort of slightly that way here and down in the middle here. So here we go, follow the growth first pass. And this is the biggest advice I could ever give anybody. Light touch, don't shave like you're shaving with a cartridge razor or an electric with pressure, just gently. I could feel that thing I kept last week, but I don't think I've caught it bad enough. This is a lovely razor. It's not the mildest and it's not the aggressive, it's right in the middle. And if you find, as I say, you like it, you can always up, get better razors. Well, not better, but a higher priced razor, whatever you want. That. So that's the first pass with the growth, with the growth. Keep it rinsed well. Rinse now. Wet your hands. I'm just using this same waste <laughs> out of my beard. But the more layers you can use, the better. That's the lovely stuff. So apply a second lather. Bit more water. Good this. Try and keep it tidy. So how was your week gone? All right. I hope so. Um, Monday morning was a big shocker. The first frost was minus you know, about two degrees below freezing. Whew, I had to th thaw the windscreen. Windshield. <laughs> right, we're gonna cross the growth now. And again, if you're new to this, maybe just do a couple of passes. Don't worry about this three passes and pickups. Let your skin get used to it first. Maybe do two with the growth and see how you get on. I 
I think you should feel a difference. Um, and try different blades, obviously, because you'll find some that's aggressive, feels very, very sharp. You try another one and you think, oh, that's better. So you'll know then and put them in a little pile, the ones you like, the ones you find aggressive and ones you don't like. And as I say, you can either give, give the ones you don't like away or swap them with someone or whatever. So that's a cross for me there going down because it grows a bit that way. This way it grows down, so I go across it. But remember, light. Lovely. There we go. So very simple. Obviously, if you haven't got a beard, you wouldn't do that. You'd just wet your face and then just relather the whole face. If you're growing the old November, well done if you got this far. <laughs> I quite like it. A lot of people, well, I, when I work and things, and people I know have said that it suits me. I always say every year, oh, it suits you. So it's, um, Mrs. Ace likes it actually. Right, against the growth now. So as you know, growing down, growing that way. So against is up, this way, and that way. Sounds confusing, but just just bear with, you know, you don't have to do it like that, you can do two passes until you get used to it. But uh, against the growth, still going nice and light, let the razor do the work on the blade. Because if you press with one of these, you are gonna be very sore if you don't cut yourself. And feel, feel a bit of hair there. You get this bit, but that's what pickups are for. Here we go, up now, getting to the growth. But just as I say, play by ear, whether you do against the growth or not. Maybe do two passes with. Um, or one pass with the growth, one pass across, see how you get on, leave it like that, do it for a week or two like that. And a lot of it's common sense. And then we come to a section because normally here is fine now, lovely and smooth, but this area has a few pickups because there's so much. The reason really is because you've got hair growing this way, that way, and there's a bit here that grows all over the place like a star. So you're, you're just trying to get those BBS baby smooth, but in the beginning I wouldn't worry about that. But this is what pickups. Oh, I've done it. Three to one, pick up time, baby. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so thank you for the tag, John, and thanks for asking me first. As I say, I don't usually do them, but... Uh... That's never been funny, man. I just can't, I've never been one for tags. and. Nothing wrong with them, if, you know, it's, it's, I mean, this type for me is great because I've, you know, hopefully can help someone. And the more people 
I could transform to this way of shaving because it's the best thing I ever did. And I hated shaving, by the way. Absolutely hated it. Two reasons, the cost and it hurt. Absolutely hurt. And I just looked at my dad one day and thought, you never hear him complaining. Always pink face, clean shaven. Okay, the odd rizzler paper or toilet paper just here and there when he cuts himself. But uh, I've never looked back. And that shaving oil, you see, it didn't hamper, but it helped. And that's good. Now, a cold water rinse. Oh, it is cold. Welsh water, this. Oh, thank you, Paul. That's lovely. That's lovely, eh? Wow. Nice scent as well, Pam Olive. It's a lovely, it reminds me of years and years ago. So now you have a bit of an inspection of yourself and have a look in the mirror and see how good looking you're not. And in my case. <laughs> and I'm very happy with that. Feels nice and smooth. Yeah, no cuts and nicks. One thing I would highly recommend is witch hazel or an alum block. Sort of do the same thing. Uh, witch hazel sort of calms the skin. It's like a um it's like, oh that's another thing try and if you can first of all make sure it's not an astringent it's alcohol free it won't sting then like like aftershave but witch hazel is good for the skin for calming it and then um, i'm not sure if it has some antibacterial properties to it but it's very good for the skin um something i got used to doing many times and rub it all over the face mind your eyes obviously But if it's got alcohol in it, you will feel a bit of a sting. It's okay. But uh, you might have a shock. So that's good. That's that. And then, aftershave. You don't have to add aftershave, obviously. You may just go straight to a balm. But I like aftershave. This is easy. Very inexpensive from Superdrug, I believe. Uh, Forest Fresh. But you may have aftershaves, very nice ones, so use them. You may get a tingle from that. I haven't, but... Uh... Oh, my dad would love this. <laughs> Just a splash. And then, inexpensive body lotion, aftershave balm, uh, post-shave balm, whatever you call it. You can get in supermarkets, chemists, all sorts of places online. Don't need a lot. I rub it together and then I put it on. But a very important step. And then that's it, that's how you look. Clean, no issues. Damn, I missed it. No. <laughs> and that's it. Um, so there's a mixture in here. If you get anything from this, I hope it's a, f a form of, you don't have to have expensive products, but the products I've shown you are available here. And also they work, you know, they work. So you know, it's a bit of a budget friendly, um, getting into it. And if you like this and you carry on, yeah, then you can go and buy a, an expensive razor, one of the top end brushes, you know, all sorts of stuff. And the trouble is we all fall into this little hole then of, you become addicted. <laughs> That's nothing that, you become addicted to it. 
because you love it so much and it's fantastic as you turn something you loathed into something you love hopefully so take your time with it light touch never pressure on the razor preparation is the most important thing um, as in showering washing first uh, pre-shave with the oil but you know anything like that all adds layers it protects it helps but it doesn't hinder the shave so hopefully i've shown that in this and um Thank you again, John, for the tag. I'm not going to tag people, but if you've got a shaving channel and you think, yeah, I'd like to share your experiences from, you might be a beginner shaver yourselves and you're starting to do a channel or fairly new to YouTube, I should say. But you think, yeah, I've learned a few things along the way and I'd like to share my experience. Feel, count yourself tagged. But um, I'll put John's uh, YouTube channel down below. He does a lot of straight shaving. He makes straight razors shorties different ones and then uh, he, he shaves a lot of times with them as well so check him out if you like that sort of stuff so thanks for watching thanks for your patience and i hope um, this has helped someone in some way somewhere and um, i'll see you on sunday yeah for the weekend shave so be it so all the best many thanks and bye